Hi everyone. Oh, hang on. It's tracking. Hang on. Not anymore. Well, that was interesting. Hello, how are you? Good, I hope. Tracy here, and this is another Chatter Rooney video. I know I hate it when I say that. Don't know what possessed me. So I've just done a little whippy video and I've been working on this. Um, <laughs> you want to see more? You know where it is. My little whippy video. So yeah, I've been working on that. Instead of the boggy creek, I've got a bit bogged down with the boggy. It was too, it was taking too long, that one. I mean, I'm going to finish that off in front of the TV when I can, you know. I haven't been doing that this last few days, but I've, I've now measured it and know how much I need to do. While I was doing that video, I had a cup of tea and it just will not cool down. I know it's a firmacy one and it's got a clear lid, which is open. 40 odd minutes I was yakking away. So nearly 50 minutes this tea has been made. And do you think I can yet drink it? It's still a bit stingy. Stingy on the tongue, I will take the lid off. That's just mental. Crazy. I brought a cup of water in as well, both in the non-spilly cup, because I just didn't want to have any accidents. But, wow. It's like, you know, does it ever cool down? Like next week, maybe, I don't know. Odd. So let's have a look at at a zip. There's a grogu. See if we've got grogu today. Let's see. What the heck is that? Okay. Maybe I could. No. Oh, I can see an ear. Um. Oh, and the person there. Look. That's Boba. I clue who that is. Maybe it's Fennec Shand. Don't know. Let's have a look. Oh, it is Boba, yeah. I can't see what the other one is. Do you trust them, Fennec Shand? Oh, how clever am I? I trust them to work in their own self-interest, Boba Fett. He has got a funny, work, funny voice in that, don't you think? That's very dark, you know. I don't mind a bit dark, but that's ridiculously dark. It's like someone put the light on, for goodness sake. How are you meant to see it? Just saying. Let's have a look at the soot book. Where are we up to? Uh, my mother-in-law is really cool to me. Wait, I mean cold. If your kids ask you for a pet, glue some googly, googly eyes into the bathtub hair catcher and tell them it's a gerbil. Ooh. Mama crazy. If you mean getting my six-year-old to change out of her Elsa dress into a regular clothes every day, then yes, I do participate in extreme sports. Okay, I'm going to do this joke. What did one bottle of wine say to the other? Chardonnay. Chardonnay. But haven't we met somewhere before? Ch Chardonnay. I thought that was going to be funnier. <laughs> Don't want to put it. Oh well, there we go. It's the empty one. The empties. Well, I have been very busy girl today. It's been raining cats and dogs outside. It's just horrible. And last night, I was sorry, the chenille yarn has been playing havoc with my nose. Um, watching TV last night when Gary went to bed because he's working, so he gets to bed early. Suddenly, I thought I heard this roar, and I kind of paused the TV, and it was the sound of the rain, mental, very heavy rain. And all day today, it's been raining. It's horrible. And then the sun popped out for about 10 minutes and then it started getting all gloomy again. It's been really cold as well this last few days. It's like, you know, you go on holiday and it's not too bad before you go. It's, you know, all right. And then you go on holiday and it's like really hot and you come home and it's like, oh, what happened? 
you know, just win someone flipped a switch and winter came. But you know what? I'm going to get my fleecy things out soon. I was cold last night watching TV. And I, th I blame myself in a way because I didn't put any socks on. But, um, and it gave me cold feet and then I was cold. But I'm going to, I'm going to get my fleecy things out. You know, those big oversized kind of sweatshirty fleeces. They're cosy. I don't usually wear that sort of thing, but it gets really cold here by the sea. It seems to be colder than most places. Right. I burnt my tongue on this when I first tried the first time. It's okay now. I don't think I'm going to be doing that again. Not for one of my whip videos. Might work out for a live if I have a cup of tea and then put one of those cups of tea in there. That'd be for the end. <laughs> Actually, not really. I mean, just one of those. It's just hot all the way. It's crazy. The most... That is well thermosy, even though it's got a plastic lid. And the lid was open, you know, the hole. The mental, it's quite thick though, this Perspex. I think it was one from Paper Chase, I want to say. Might be wrong. It doesn't taste thermosy though, you know what I mean? Sometimes thermosy things got a bit of a tang but I think if you well don't really make you wet if you because I have black tea it doesn't really work for me you know I think it's if you've got <coughs> if you've got milk and stuff and a vase explodes oh but um yeah if you've got milk and stuff then that tends to be a bit taste weird you know it does so what else have I got to tell you? Let me think. Or in weekend, really, apart from going out. That was nice. Going out was nice. And um, other than that, I was just working and working and working. And I had work, like lots of work to do. And Gary was just flopping about. <laughs> but then again, see, now he's at work today. And you could say, well, you're at home, but I'm still working. You know, I've been working all day. So... It's just that I have no rest. <laughs> Got your violins out. <coughs> Sound like Coronation Street. For dogs, that did. <laughs> High pitched enough for dogs. <clears throat> so I'm toying with the idea of doing a live stream one evening. It'll either be, if I'm going to do this, it'll be Wednesday, Thursday or Friday. And I owe my members a members only one as well. So um, it'll either be then, and the reason I was thinking of doing it then is so that Gary's in bed and, um, you know, I don't take the little bit of time that we've got together and, um, but yeah, I might do one. Um, unless, you know, I do it. Mm. Hang on a minute. No, I'm totally got this around the wrong way, haven't I? He's at work Monday, Tuesday, so it's off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So it might be the weekend then. Or maybe I'll do it tomorrow. No, because he won't be a bed, will he? <laughs> <laughs> this takes planning. My brain takes planning. It really does. <laughs> Good Friday. Because we began to bed early for Saturday. Yeah. I've got my flu jab on Saturday. Just remembered I'm going to be stabbing on on Saturday. Now they keep saying on the TV, go get your flu your 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 COVID jab, go get your COVID jab, don't forget to get your COVID jab, just go and get your COVID. so tried to book up my COVID jab and it said you can't have it. And I thought, well this is ridiculous. Stupid. Ridiculous. I'm gonna book them up, you know. I am just gonna go book them up. Anyway. Take a chance, take a, take, a, take, a, take a chance, take a chance. That was Abba, sorry. <laughs> I'll tell you what, we got tortured with that, where we used to live. It was actually a couple of houses ago. It was a long while ago, really, my kids were little. We had some really nice um, elderly neighbours two doors away, who he passed away and she went to live somewhere else. And she sold the house to this younger couple with kids. 
and they were a bit snooty, you know, a bit better than you, can't really, couldn't possibly, and when they talked to you, you could see they were looking down on you, you know, one of them, it's, unfortunately, that road was full of people like that. Anyway, they had loads of friends and family, and they were very, very, very into ABBA, and they had these barbecues in the summer, and very, very loud, very noisy parties, and they never invited the neighbours once. You know, if you're going to have a party and you're going to make a lot of noise, the best way to do it is invite your neighbours. That way you're either there and they're not going to complain or they all say, I'm sorry, I can't come and they won't possibly complain. Anyway, they were ABBA freaks and the whole garden was full of people singing. You know, whatever ABBA song they were playing, they were singing. And when it come to Take a Chance on Me, the women were singing, you know, the women -y bit, if you let me know. And all the men were going, take a chance, take a chance, take a, take a chance, chance. <laughs> whole garden, you know, the whole garden. And very loud. So there's all the women singing their bit and there's all the... There must have been an Abbott Appreciation Society, I don't know. But it went on and on and on until the wee hours of the morning and just constant them all loud and drunk and singing ever and this went on and it it kind of happened a few times while we were there and it, it was oh no the other party's happening again and um when we were when we were moving we, we were just sitting there one day say wouldn't it be funny if we could break into their house and put speakers in the loft that they'd never find and then at three in the morning just go like start playing <laughs> take a chance on me and see how much they love that then you know <laughs> see how much they love that song just saying we never did it obviously because that's guess against the law but it was just this wicked wicked thought that we had to say what if we could just break in and plant speakers like really loud ones that they can't find and then just phew, ram it up gimme 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 or take a chance on me or money 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 or something you know one of them ones i know wicked 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 but it would have been really funny wouldn't it shame we couldn't do it <laughs> <clears throat> sorry naughty 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 but you know they were very aggravating that's all i've got to say about it. i don't even remember their names just know them as the ABBA lot, you know, the ABBA people. Put us right off ABBA for a while, I tell you, it did. <laughs> yeah. Just imagine that, like, three in the morning. Dancing Queen! <laughs> oh, dear. That was funny. Funny, but not really at the time. Yeah, most unfriendly road in the world where I lived, seriously, that was. The stories I could tell you from this one little road, there were just a handful of houses, but the people that lived there, there were some people in there. There was probably about 15 houses altogether because it went down like that and then off like that, so it was kind of that shaped. But there were some real oddballs living in that road. I could write a book about that road, really. Well, people wouldn't believe it. It's a really weird cup, this. It really is. Oh. Anyway, I'm going to have to turn my fan off now because I'm actually getting cold. Got a bit hot earlier. Don't know whether the heating on, the fan on, or what. Seriously. So um, I was watching. Um, I watched a Silent Witness feature length one last night. I can't believe I missed all these. Like, they're not ones I've seen before. It's, it's weird. I thought, where they come from? I mean, I thought I'd seen them all. Whenever Silent Witness was on, I'd always record it and and watch it. So I can't understand how I managed to miss all these feature length ones but or whether you know i've just forgotten them because it they've been going so long i mean 
Amelia Fox came into it looking like a teenager. And at the end, you know, you can see she's seen better days. <laughs> no, she hasn't, but you know what I mean? You can see she's a lot older. And, um, well, you know what I mean? It's been a long while. So maybe I missed some. Maybe I just forgot some. But it's, they're, very, you know, they're good to watch. So I will, um, I will do some crochet this evening. Hopefully knock out that boggy blanket and get on with those squares, which I've forgotten how to make. <sighs> I annoy myself when I do that. I probably did write it down somewhere. <sighs> Could not guess as good as mine as to where it might be. So um, I was toying with the idea and I might need some advice really on this. You know, I'm doing the 12 days of Christmas Santa sacks. Uh, the Advent ones. Um, I didn't know whether to list two so that I've got the one that is there now and one that is acrylic only. But that gets confusing and people pick acrylic. They'll just see one and pick it. They won't necessarily know there are two different ones. So I might make a little pop-up, you know, like I did with the Elganza bag pop-up and that. I might do a pop-up that says, if ordering the 12 days of Christmas, if you want just acrylic, then please message me because there's a, a contact us part on my website. So you can always message um, anything. Um, well, please don't message 20 million messages, though, because I won't be able to cope. But you know what I mean? There's always my email address in the description box. Well, nine times out of ten, not every video has it on. But um, certainly on my winners ones, it's always there and you can usually find it. But uh, obviously that's not my shop one. But yeah, I have, I have, um, yeah, don't, don't, only message the shop if it's a message for the shop, really. That's what I'm trying to say. What else have I got to tell you? Anything? Did lots of stitch markers. I showed them on my whippy thing. Where have I done with that? Oh. I didn't recognise it because I put my yarn band, put my yarn band over it. But they're all in here. I've been busy, busy making Christmas ones. There's some Christmas ones, Halloween. It doesn't look much, but if I put it in the one that it used to be in, it will fill it up. In fact, I will because that's that's my pot. So if I put them on, well, it doesn't fill it, but it's not far off. Put the wrong lid on. There you go. That's how many we've got. So we've got the big ones. I had a little brainwave of, see, I put them on lever backs, um, ones like that, because they're bigger. And on the bigger ones, I'm putting them away. On these ones, I figured I could put them as a little decoration on the Santa sex, you know, on the tie, put the tie through it. Hopefully, though, it wouldn't come off. I don't know. I'm not sure whether to do that. But I've got... Um, Halloween jack-o'-lanterns and there are stars and there are where is he gummy bears gummy bear all different colors but there's loads and loads of gold Christmassy ones silver ones Christmas trees reindeers presents everything in there and um, so those are the new ones that I'm going to be giving out I, I like doing that because, as I said earlier, it's nice, you know, I mean, some companies, I remember, I think it was, oh, if it was either Hobby or one of them that I used to order from now and then, would give me a sweetie and it would just be like one strawberry flavoured sweet in a little bag. That'd be it. Give you nothing else, just a sweet. And that's mass produced, but getting it's nice little touch. Sometimes you get like a you yarn in a little gans a bag, but ain't giving you much, you know. But when I when I send out my orders, I always put mass produced either a packet of Harry Bows and biscuits and a few bits and pieces like that in there. Sometimes um, tape measures with hobby rocks on them and all stuff like that. But I always put some handmade stitch markers because they're handmade, and people like things that are personal. And it's not something that's mass, mass produced. It's something that I have made for you. And I think that's quite nice, don't you? I think so. Just probably think, no, you're cheap. 
I'm not though, because give it. <laughs> I give the mass produced stuff as well, you know, and obviously sometimes I put yarn in and sometimes packs of yarn that I've had free in magazines just go in and, you know, all sorts of stuff, all sorts of stuff goes in. Even boxes of tea bags sometimes go in. Cheers, it must be cool now. Goodness gracious. It took a long time to be drinkable. Let me see. Good God. That can't be right. It's taken well over an hour for this tea to cool down enough. And it's still kind of a bit hurty when you swallow it. It's mad, isn't it? It really is. Gary will be home in a minute. Bless him. So we've been watching Fear the Walking Dead together. And there's loads of things that we um, are, are kind of piling up that we need to to finish off watching or the next season of. But um, at the moment, we're, we're going through Fear the Walking Dead and we're almost up to the bit where we left off because we watched it from the start. And it's a good job because I'd forgotten loads of it. And things actually make a bit more sense this time around. Maybe I wasn't quite grasping it or wasn't paying enough attention when I was watching it the first time around but yeah I mean it's not bad and they've made a lot more seasons than we've seen so we also need to do one last season of Spartacus you know that porno thing that Gary likes <laughs> it's really rude it really is for someone who's like as innocent as me that that it's <laughs> it's quite rude it really is so, yeah, we've got one more season of that. But it was the one where um, it went back in time to the House of Batiatus. Did we watch that? Scrub that. I think we watched it. Did we finish it, though? I don't think we did. Oh, I think we just left it. When we went on holiday. I forgot about it. Maybe. I'll have to check that out. Do I have to check that out? Anyway, you know, I'm going to get off and upload this because Gary will be home soon and I haven't done any dinner. But I haven't done it on purpose because uh, yesterday he made a big sort of pot, that's the word, of mince and it was uh, savoury. And I had some yesterday um, and... Gary wasn't really hungry. He'd eaten loads and loads of prawns. So um, I had a little bowl yesterday and then he took some to work and left me another little bowl. And we've both eaten those. And when I ate mine, I wasn't hungry. I didn't have any breakfast because I wasn't hungry. Crazy, really. But I've not been hungry all day. And even when I ate that, I wasn't hungry and I'm still not now. And uh, so I don't know, but I might, um, I'm going to put a chicken in because, you know, it has a habit of creeping up on you. But I was going to do lots of veg with it and I'm just not hungry enough to eat that. So I might save it for tomorrow, perhaps. Anyway, thank you for watching and listening to me babble away. I haven't even drunk my tea. Crazy. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.